Hello, I'm Justin Porter and today's date's the 24th of December 2023 and um, I was wondering how many of you listening to my video lose any sleep over the fact that because you reject the Quran and you reject Muhammad and you reject Allah, that you are, you're not going to get 72 virgins when you die. And instead, Allah is going to roast you in the fires of hell, burn your skin off as you wreathe in agony. How many of you lose sleep over that? I know I don't. But if you are an ex-Muslim, you may. Or how many of you listening to my video lose any sleep over the fact that because you reject the message of Joseph Smith that the uh, angel Moramai gave to him on golden plates back in 1830 um, in America, United States, that when you die, you will not be going to the celestial kingdom. And um, I'm sure none of you least lose sleep over that. But if you are an ex-Muslim, you may lose sleep over that. And how many of you, because you reject the message of L. Ron Hubbard uh, of Scientology, that when you die, you're not going to own your very own planet and be a god on your very own planet. I'm sure not many of you lose sleep over that, except if you are an ex-Scientologist, you may lose sleep over that. And how many of you, because you reject the governing body uh, in New York City, and you reject that the Watchtower is inspired by God and because you reject it you're not going to get that pet panda bear that they promised you and if you want a pet panda bear now you're going to have to break into a zoo and steal one well and God is going to destroy you with the giant hailstone at Armageddon for mo some of you listening to my video you may not lose any sleep over that. I know I now don't. But if you are an ex-Jehovah's Witness, you may lose sleep over that. Every time there's a thunderstorm, you may think, oh, Armageddon's coming. I've made the wrong decision. Maybe I should go back. So when it comes to apostates, you've got Muslim apostates, Mormon apostates, Scientologist apostates, Jehovah's Witness apostates. Um, for instance, uh, they all have their YouTube channels. One of my favourite Muslim apostates, ex-Muslim, he's an ex-Muslim, his name's Appy, his name's Appy, and he has a YouTube channel called The Apostate Prophet. His YouTube channel, Appy, that's A P A for apple, P for pineapple. Appy has a uh, YouTube channel. He's an ex-Muslim, apostate Muslim, and his channel is called The Apostate Prophet. He's Turkish, and he's living in America. Now, the Turkish, he, he was born and raised in Turkey as a Muslim, and he emigrated to United States of America, but... Because he has a YouTube channel and speaks out against Islam, he's now an atheist, the Turkish government wants to extradite him from America and charge him with blasphemy. Because in Turkey, there's laws, if you speak out against Islam, in Turkey, they will throw you in jail, throw you in jail for blasphemy, for speaking um, against Islam. Now, if he was, he's safe in America because they're not going to give him back to Turkey. But 
if he did end up in a Turkish jail, the, uh, the, the Muslims in the jail would probably end up killing him as a apostate. Because I'm sure there's Muslims in Turkish jails. Um, and they would probably, they're going to hold him, they'd kill him. And um, yeah, but if he was in Saudi Arabia, he, if he was in Saudi Arabia, he would be um, beheaded, stoned to death. Stoned to death as an apostate. Now, I say to all Jehovah's Witnesses, watch apostate prophet. He's a Muslim. He's an apostate, but he's a Muslim who's left Islam and he's now an atheist. And if you're a Jehovah's Witness, another good channel to watch is an ex-Mormon channel, ex-Mormon married couple, um, Tanner and Samantha. Tanner and Samantha, American Mormons, and they have a YouTube channel called Zelf on the Shelf. Zelf with a Z, Zelf on the Shelf, and that's their uh, Mormon uh, apostate channel. There's Leah Remedy uh, from Scientology, Leah Remedy from Scientology, and uh, look up her story, uh, Jehovah's Witnesses can watch, I suppose. Jehovah's Witnesses are allowed to watch apostate videos from Muslims, Mormons, Scientologists, Catholics. Um, and there's a lot of YouTubers out there who no, long, uh, no longer are Christian and why they no longer believe in the Bible. And um, they may still have nightmares, nightmares about burning in hell because they've left Christianity. And uh, I know Jehovah's Witnesses don't believe in hellfire, we just believe in annihilation. But uh, still that hellfire to of torment can uh, torment people for the rest of their days, you know, because they got taught that as children. Interesting enough, when it comes to the um, Muslims, I often wonder why 72 virgins? Now, with Muslims, if uh, you go on jihad and kill infidels, you will get 72 virgins when you die. Dewy-eyed virgins sing, feeding you grapes by a river as you watch infidels wreathe in agony as Allah burns off their skin and gives them brand new skins to burn off. Now, 72, I looked that up on Google I googled it, why 72 virgins, and it says that there's 72 apostate sects of Islam that the mainstream Muslims view as apostate. 72. There's 72 apostate versions of Islam, according to Google, and that's why they've got the number 72. And I thought, oh... 72 apostate sects that a lot of Muslims believe that some Muslims are going to burn because they're not real Muslims, you know. They're only, they may eat pork, they may drink alcohol, they may not do jihad, may not pray towards Mecca uh, five times a day or, yeah. And, um, yeah, so... When it comes to religion, what people used to believe in can stay in the mind. And just like you don't sleep, just like uh, most people listening to my video are probably Jehovah's Witnesses or ex-Jehovah's Witnesses, you don't lose any sleep over not getting your 72 virgins and um, you don't lose, you know, and fear of Allah. Take, burning off your skin and giving you a new coat of skin so you can burn it again. But if you're an, if you're an ex-Catholic, you may still have lingering doubts about hell and you may fear death because the hellfire doctrine, because you become an atheist. Um, and I do recommend, I do recommend that uh, Jehovah's Witnesses watch ex-Mormon videos. Uh, Ex Scientologies with Leah Remedy, uh, Zelf on the Shelf, Ex Mormon, that's the name of the YouTube channel, Tanner and Samantha, and Appy, Appy, 
The ex-Muslim and his YouTube channel is called The Apostate Prophet. Now, he's had death threats. The Apostate Prophet, he's an ex-Muslim, he's a Muslim apostate. He's had death threats. He has to hide his name, hide the whereabouts of where he lives, because there might be a jihadist that kill him. And the jihadist would just be obeying the Quran that says kill apostates. Jehovah's Witnesses don't kill apostates, but they just pretend they're dead. <laughs> dead these, they're dead to us, you know. And, um, yeah, so that's the way it goes. And some of you may believe, you know, I don't know what to believe. I'm atheist, but I'm also an agnostic. I'm not saying there is no God. What if there's a God? I'll put it to you who is listening to my YouTube uh, channel. What if there is a God? There really is a God, but there's no life after death. There's a God who created us on earth, but he can't give us everlasting life. There's no afterlife with this God. He made the earth, he made us, but he can't give us ever to everlasting life. Uh, oh no, oh, I can't give you everlasting life. I can't do that. I do, that's beyond my powers. I can create life, but when you die... I can only make you live for a certain amount of time, then you die. Would you worship a God like that? What? I can't get to live forever. I'm not going to see my dead mother and father. And I don't, I'm not going to worship you. How many religious people, how many religious people would worship a God that couldn't give them everlasting life? You know, are they in a, uh, most religious people, they don't really love God. They're just doing it for the 72 virgins. They're just doing it for the pet panda, you know. And why 72 virgins? Why not 100? I'll blow myself up for 100 virgins, you know. Why 72? Well, as I said, the number 72, I googled it. And it's the number of apostate sects of Islam. Uh, that The mainstream Islam would... Yeah. And, you know, that's all I want to say, basically. And uh, thanks for... I don't mean to offend anybody. I am an ex-Jehovah's Witness, an agnostic atheist. I am an agnostic. I'm an agnostic, but also an atheist. And uh, I've described what it... You know, I don't believe in the, God of the Abrahamic gods. And uh, I was just thinking the other day... Um, as a Jehovah's Witness, I always used to say, why did God kill the Canaanites? Why did God kill the Canaanites? Well, the Canaanites, Jehovah's Witnesses told me, practiced child sacrifice. But what is Christianity? Child sacrifice. Jehovah sacrifices his son, Jesus, nails him to a stake, tortures his son. That's child sacrifice. Abraham going to kill Isaac is child sacrifice. So as Jehovah's Witnesses, that's what we'd say. Why did God kill the Canaanites? Because they used to practice child sacrifice. Didn't Abraham, didn't God get Abraham to kill his, go, on, kill your kid. And Jesus is a child sacrifice, you know. So that's all I wanted to say. I'm not picking on any religion today. We're all from different religions. I do believe that religion is part of the human psyche. We're pattern-seeking primates. And we like answers. And uh, when we don't get the answers, we kind of invent them. And, um, you know, because we realise we may not have these answers in our lifetime. So we make up all different stories to give us comfort. And it's very comforting to know that there might be an afterlife. I don't know. So in that way, I'm an agnostic. I really don't know. There could be life after death and no God. Imagine that, you know, imagine there's no God, but there's life after death. There may be a God, but no life after death for anyone because it's not in his power to do that. Or what if you die, reincarnation, and come back as a butterfly and land in a spider's web and a spider comes towards you. Oh, no, my God, the Hindus were right. Oh, no, the Hindus were right, you know. And, uh, yeah. So that's all I want to say. So 
And, and also this act of nature. Nature's so very cruel. Earthquakes kill people. Cyclones kill people. Bushfires kill people. Uh, acts of God. And the insurance company calls those things acts of God, you know. And the insurance company don't ring up God and say, excuse me, God, um, there was an um, earthquake, you know, uh, on the 5th of December. Uh, you know, God said, what date was that, 5th of December? Oh, whereabouts? Oh, yes, that was me. Yeah, yeah, that was me, God. Yeah, yeah, I caused the yeah, earthquake. Yeah, yeah. Rightio, just checking, just checking, because we're, we're the insurance company. We're just going to make sure it is an act of God. And then you ring up God. Oh, there, uh, God, there was a cyclone. Were you responsible for the cyclone, God? What date was that? 7th of July, 1993, that cyclone. Uh, 7th of July, 1993, a cyclone, you say. This is God talking. Uh, no, I was in um, Asia giving children brain cancer in the hospital. You know, wasn't God. Couldn't have been God causing that cyclone because he was in Asia in a hospital giving children brain cancer. So, you know, no offence. I hope you don't think I'm blasphemous, but that's God, isn't it? You know, a bit of a mystery. He works in mysterious ways, doesn't he? Well, like and subscribe, as I say on all my videos. Sometimes I forget to say it. Um, these videos stop when the Jehovah's Witnesses stop shunning me. Stop shunning me and I won't make these videos. I'm lonely. I have no one to talk to except ex-Jehovah's Witnesses. That's why I make these videos. No one understands. I talk to regular people in the street about being an ex-Jehovah's Witness, being shunned, and they think, well, what did you do? Well, you must have... He must have done something wrong to be sure. No, I just stopped believing. That's why I make these videos. Because there's no one understands except ex Jehovah's Witnesses. And probably ex-Muslims and ex-Mormons um, and Scientologists and... Who else did I mention? Seventh-day Adventists and Catholics. Because they're probably shunned, kind of soft, half shunned, I don't know, by their families too. So like, subscribe, and uh, see you next time. Bye.